Reverend Machado, since we last spoke now, you've been seeing that we've been trying to not just uh, pin accountability for these attacks, uh, but the fact is that we're also trying to get the government to give us data, give us the evidence on what grounds are you claiming this large-scale illegal conversion to justify this bill, but uh, as you can see, uh, we're, not getting, we're not getting a clear answer. Yeah, Mr. Srinivas, I just heard Mr. Ashwat Ryan, and he's a good friend of ours. But I'm surprised that if he had closed one eye, I would have said, okay, but he's closing both the eyes and says there have been no incidents of violence at all. You know, the PUCL, which is a respected body, has collected physical data, and there have been about 20, 39 attacks that have been recorded. The, you mean what is recorded and not recorded. There are so many others which are not, not recorded. Hmm. And this kind of hate, hate crimes have been going on. Hmm. And surprisingly that the government has not even made a statement or even one of these leaders have not made a statement to say that at least don't attack the Christians. There are other ways of... Are you speaking of conversion or post-conversion? Are we not allowed this conversion a crime at all in India? I can understand post-conversion, but you give a proof, and surely there are laws in the country that can control right. if it's force or allurements. But to make this kind of, I mean, bland statements that there have been no violence at all and uh, conversions are being done mm. forcefully, I think it's very much hurting us as Christians. We are respectable persons. We are peace-loving. We have got so many institutions and other places where absolutely there is not a single conversion that takes place. Now, I, 